sisters. Uh, this is my first presentation back, and I'm back here on YouTube talking to you. And particularly as we're studying the Old Testament this year, I wanted to share a principle that has helped me to find greater meaning in the Old Testament. And that is finding Christ or looking for Christ in scriptural symbols. Is this something that we should actually be doing, though? This is what Bruce R. McConkie had to say. He says, It is wholesome and proper to look for similitudes of Christ everywhere and to use them repeatedly in keeping him and his laws uppermost in our minds. The Book of Mormon peoples understood this. They understood that the law of Moses was a law of performances and ordinances, but most of all, they understood that all things which had been given of God in that law were the typifying of Christ. And we learn in Moses chapter 6, 63, that all things have their likeness, and all things are created and made to bear record of me, both things which are temporal and things which are spiritual. So what should we be looking for when we're looking at symbols? Oftentimes, I think we jump to one particular meaning. It's denotation, right? And we say, okay, this is what the symbol means, right? This is the only thing that, that, that the Lord intended for us to understand in that symbol. I don't think that's correct. I think that we can also look at a symbol's connotation. And a connotation is really what a symbol suggests through its association. And oftentimes these associations won't be exactly linear. They won't connect perfectly, right? But it will suggest to our minds a connection. And I think we can look to those connotations as well as we're studying these symbols. Now as we look at the scriptures themselves, sometimes there is a clear interpretation given. And if there is, I, th I think we should really consider that essential, right? We should, we should consider that important in our understanding of, of the symbol itself. But if there is no clear, you know, written in the text interpretation of the symbol, then we need to study whatever resources we have available to us, whether that's historical sources, whether that's scientific sources. All these things can help us to increase our understanding of a symbol. We should also ponder and pray and seek revelation because the Holy Ghost is really, you know, it's going to what, what's going to connect in our minds and help us connect to Christ, really, is the Holy Ghost. So we should definitely include that as part of our spiritual practice. And I've also found that studying like particular things like the nature of, a, of an object or a symbol, studying its history or its culture is also helpful. Um, and you find this particularly like with an olive tree, right? Uh, olive trees are described in many different ways in the scriptures in many different scenarios. And so I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all interpretation or connotation for that symbol in scripture. I think we have to look at the text itself and we have to also study like I said, additional things about how an olive tree is grown, how it's harvested, uh, what the olives were used for in ancient culture. And, you know, particularly as we look at the tabernacle, what is, you know, an olive's part in that whole uh, tabernacle? And it is okay for multiple interpretations of a symbol. Oftentimes, I think we rush to one uh, interpretation, but again, study it out. Um, study the scriptures, look for more connections, because as we do, I think that's going to increase really the our understanding of how vast the gospel of Jesus Christ is, how much there is to it, and particularly as it relates to Christ and the atonement. Um, I think that's a, a beautiful teaching tool that the Lord gives us to be able to understand him better. And of course, before we can even understand any of the symbols in the scriptures, we have to have a clear understanding of Christ and his doctrine. We have to understand what Christ taught. We have to you know, become familiar with his words. And as we do that, the, the symbols, the connections, the connotations, everything will just really come together more clearly. And it's a beautiful experience when you can see you know, a simple symbol and then you can understand through the Holy Ghost uh, an amazing connection uh, that that has with another principle of the gospel or with 
with Christ himself. I'm going to be having additional presentations that I'll be putting on here, uh, particularly as we're going through and studying the tabernacle. There's a lot of symbols in there. There's a lot of objects in the tabernacle. And I don't think that it was put in Scripture as just merely a, a boring recitation of what the temple was supposed to look like. I think there's uh, some amazing things that we can learn about Christ and we can learn about the atonement in the tabernacle itself. So I'm really excited to share those things with you. Be on the lookout for that.